everyone, I'm Lindsay Hedrick. Welcome back to my kitchen. I'm a self-taught chef, so this is a video series where I share with you the tried and true recipes and techniques that I've discovered in my quest to up my culinary mojo. And this is definitely one of my all-time favorite recipes I've discovered. And it's for chocolate chip cookies, something that every chef should know how to make, right? And everyone seems to start out Nestle Toll House, whatever. Uh, I cannot make a Nestle Toll House cookie to save my life. Like, I don't know what it is, what sort of curse has been a cast on me from the cookie gods, but I cannot make a Nestle Toll House cookie. However, when I discovered this Bon Appetit recipe for, I think it's the BA's Best Chocolate Chip Cookie, it, it changed the game. These cookies are so delicious and they're super customizable, you know. We're, we are a uh, Team Chewy cookie in this household, but you can absolutely uh, cook them for a little longer, crunch them up a little bit. Regardless, it's a fantastic recipe and I'm going to show you how to make the best chocolate chip cookies. Here are the ingredients you'll need for BA's best chocolate chip cookies, and I've included the gram conversions as well. One and a half cups all-purpose flour, one cup brown sugar, light or dark, I'm using light, a quarter cup of white sugar, one and a quarter teaspoons kosher salt. This is Diamond Crystal brand kosher salt. It is the preferred salt of most chefs. If you are using Morton's kosher salt, only use three quarters of a teaspoon because it is actually saltier. Three quarters of a teaspoon of baking soda, one and a half sticks unsalted butter divided, one large egg plus two large egg yolks, two teaspoons pure vanilla extract, about one cup of your preferred chocolate chips or chocolate chunks. I'm using semi-sweet chocolate today because that's what I had. And something to portion your cookies out. I like this one and a half ounce scoop, which equates to about three tablespoons. If you bought your scoops in a set, it's probably the middle one. So the first step in these incredible cookies is we're going to brown one entire stick over medium, medium low until it reaches a beautiful golden brown color, swirling and stirring often. While your butter is browning, mix your dry ingredients, your flour, your salt, and your baking soda. Also dice that leftover butter into small pieces. Once your butter is browned, pour into a heat proof bowl and let stand for one minute. Making these cookies for the first few times, I was really confused as to what the whole point of adding this cold butter into the browned butter was, but I found an explanation as to why. When you brown butter, you actually cook out the water. So as we add cold butter, we're adding water back to the brown butter. And that water being present is going to activate the gluten in the flour, which is going to in turn give us a chewier cookie, not a crispier one. Who knew? Once all our butter is melted, we're gonna add our sugars and whisk till combined. Next, add our egg and our egg yolks and mix until smooth. Mix in the vanilla. And channel your best David and Moira Rose and fold in the dry ingredients. My folding technique is to go around the bowl and then through the center a few times. And just repeat till everything is just incorporated. Then fold in your chocolate and we're ready to go. These cookies do spread quite a lot, so do not overcrowd your pan. I got a little overexcited filling these scoops, so I only got 12 cookies out of this batch, but obviously it just depends on how you portion your cookies, how big they'll be. We're baking these cookies at 375 for 8 to 10 minutes. My ideal time is about nine minutes, and I rotate the trays halfway through baking. You want them golden and crinkly around the edge and still looking a little soft in the center. Once out of the oven, I highly recommend sprinkling with some crunchy salt. Let them cool on the baking sheet and then prepare to see the light. This is a beautiful cookie. Eh? Come on. It is crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Oh, chewy. Salty, sweet, nutty. I cannot recommend this recipe enough. Thank you to the people at Bon Appetit for creating such an amazing cookie recipe because I am the star of wherever I bring these to. And I really, really hope that you'll give this a try. Uh, I'm Lindsay Hedrick. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I will be back very soon with some more really yummy videos. That's such a good cookie. Trust me.